2014 Jeep Wrangler. Got an issue over here with the water leak. And we're looking at the oil filter housing down here. And I don't know if you can see very well, but. Squeezing the hose, and we got a whole lot of water coming out of there. Okay, here we have the intake. That intake right there with the throttle body. And we got the other intake part with the injectors, injector rails. Okay, so we found a little issue. Uh, you don't have to remove this piece right here. Well, there's only five screws that are holding it down, you can tell. It's those. They're E8. Right there. Uh, there's three over here on the side. That one right there. Okay, so the issue we're having here is this water coming out of this hole right here. I don't know what the hell goes inside this hole, but that's where the water's coming out from. So, it looks like it was one of these plugs right here that just flew out, exploded. I don't know how the hell to do that, but I can't find a plug in here anywhere. I believe the plug probably flew out somewhere with the water, and it all leaked towards the back. We got these two, two temperature sensors on here in the back. And then we got one water hose. It goes right there. And there you go. Looks like the oil filter housing has busted one of those plugs. You see the plug? Well, the one on this side is gone. This is such a stupid design, I don't understand it. Why the hell they do that? So we have these five screws. One, two, three, four, five. Those are E8, like the ones they use the BMW, Mercedes, Audi. And then we have one hose that goes right there and two sensors. I believe one of these is the one of the temperature sensors, one of them is probably the fan switch. I have no idea. Yeah, so while we're at it, we're gonna replace this hose that goes back there too. I don't know about it, it looks kinda, kinda fat right there, I don't trust it. That sits like that. Looks like we got a knock sensor right there too. That's the knock sensor. All the stuff back there. Yeah, yeah, everything is, uh, it looks horrible. So here I am on Amazon. I found the part. Part right here, 3.6 liter, 2014 to 2018. All right, let's keep looking. Okay, $85, $109. I usually go with the ones that have uh, some actual reviews in it. Here it is, dealership part. Ended up going with the dealership. So here's a new part. I guess the new part comes with a new filter and everything. See? Sensors on there too. The cooler. And this one, this one doesn't have a hole. Yeah. So, it's time to put it back on.